The UFC has started paying fan bonuses to its fighters in Bitcoin. The UFC buys crypto at a fixed dollar amount and pays their fighters a bonus in cryptocurrency. As somebody who loves the UFC and monetary economics, I wanted to offer an alternative solution to the UFC and its athletes. This takedown of crypto will focus on the speculative aspect of cryptocurrencies. Crypto's greatest draw is also its fatal flaw. I'm referring to its superior ability to skyrocket and crash compared to other assets. And since Bitcoin will always be volatile by its very nature, the UFC is not helping its fighters by giving them such a volatile asset as a reward. Fighters holding Bitcoin aren't investing, they're speculating. In other words, it's a bet, a gamble. Imagine the outrage if the UFC gave fighters a lottery ticket as their fan bonus. We aren't saying don't gamble. Rather, appreciate that owning crypto is fundamentally a gamble on the price going up. At the time of writing this, fighters who won a Bitcoin bonus saw their bonuses sharply decrease in value by up to 50%. That's a gut punch. Dollars, on the other hand, don't fare much better. Although dollars aren't as volatile as Bitcoin, they are problematic in other ways. UFC fighter Bryce Mitchell correctly deduced how the Federal Reserve is debasing the dollar, with its stated goal of 2% debasement of the currency every year. Current CPI inflation is at a 40-year high, which is longer than the UFC has been around, and the dollar will continue to buy less and less for Americans as time passes. Government-caused inflation persists, which is why the UFC is right to be thinking outside of the dollar box. But there's a better solution than hyper-volatile crypto or leaky dollars, and it exists inside every UFC belt. Gold. Gold is the best money, and pound for pound the best asset the UFC could give its fighters. Gold has been accumulated for thousands of years with no signs of stopping, and has a reliable track record of stability, while the crypto hype train has already seen massive losses. The price of Bitcoin, which can easily drop 10% in one day, is clearly not a safe bet for fighters looking to store and generate long-term wealth, or plan for their post-fighting financial needs. We calculated the standard deviation of the Bitcoin price and the gold price over the last 10 years. Bitcoin has been nearly 10 times more volatile than gold over the last 10 years. So instead of giving fighters a bonus in a highly volatile asset like crypto, the UFC should give all their fighters their bonuses in gold. At Monetary Metals, we welcome fierce competition when it comes to providing the world with valuable financing and investing options. The scorecard for this sound money grudge match began at gold 1, Bitcoin 0. Then we made it gold 2, Bitcoin 0, when our CEO won his gold versus Bitcoin debate. So Dana, if you don't know, now you know. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out all our media appearances, podcast episodes, and more. See you next time.